On your journey to fighting cancer are a team of healthcare professionals whose job is to provide optimal outcomes for you. Although every individual is treated based on presentation, in doing so, they follow a set of guidelines. These guidelines are evidence-based management tips that help inform the decisions on what combination of treatment options will be best and suitable for you on your presentation. In breast cancer, for instance, Early presentation is very important to achieving cure. But other factors like the stage of presentation, the grade of the disease, the subtypes of the tumor, the patient's age, comorbidities like hypertension, diabetes, the menopausal status, whether premenopausal or postmenopausal, presence of inherited breast cancer gene like BRCA1 and BRCA2 will determine the prognosis and the best treatment plan will be based on this. Now let's walk you through the journey of cancer treatment. The first modality of treatment is surgery. Surgery is the removal of cancer cells together with a small margin of healthy tissues around it. This is aimed at removing the visible tumor, the nearby axillary lymph nodes usually under the armpits. This will be sent to the lab to know the subtype of the breast cancer, the grade, and to determine the prognosis, also the stage. Types of surgery for breast cancer include lumpectomy. This is where the lump, only the lump is removed while the most of the breast tissue is still left behind. Another type is mastectomy. This is removal of the entire breast. There's reconstructive surgery. This is both mastectomy, lumpectomy, and the cancerous breast tissue is removed, whereas another breast tissue is recreated using tissue taken from other parts of the body or at times a synthetic implant is inserted. There are instances when the tumor is too big and surgery could not be done at the go. Here we use neoadjuvant therapy to string the tumor to make it operable. This can be done using chemotherapy agents. Following surgery, there are other treatment modality which we call adjuvant therapy to complete the treatment and lower the risk of recurrence. This is aimed at the microscopic cancer cells that may be left behind from surgery. These therapies include chemotherapy, radiation therapy, targeted therapy, hormonal therapy. In summary, surgical goal is to remove the visible cancer cells in the breast and also to evaluate the lymph nodes that we harvested. Second modality of cancer treatment is chemotherapy. Chemotherapy agents are drugs used to treat cancer cells. They target rapidly dividing cancer cells to kill them and stop further growth. How is it used? Chemotherapy can be given as a neoadjuvant therapy and can also be adjuvant. Neoadjuvant if it's given before surgery or any other form of treatment, and adjuvant if it's given after. How long is chemo given? Chemo is given in cycles, usually weekly or month. The rest period is to allow the normal tissue in the body to recover, whereas cancer cells cannot recover. We want to implore you not to miss your chemo appointment as much as possible. If there are side effects that need to be managed, kindly consult your oncologist, which can lead to a bit of delay in your treatment, but it should be well managed such that you can continue as early as possible. How is chemotherapy administered? Chemotherapy is usually given intravenously. A line is sighted into your vein, so the chemo goes straight to the vein. There are instances when the veins are too tiny or getting difficult to get or to prevent subsequent pricking, here a pot may need to be inserted into the chest wall. Other chemotherapy agents come as tablets which is swallowed also in cycles or as the oncologists recommend. There are few chemotherapy creams for some skin cancers that are also used. What are the side effects of chemotherapy? In breast cancer, the common side effects includes nausea and vomiting, feeling fatigue, feeling sick. This is usually short-lived, under a few days, patients get better. 
such that by the time it's time for the next cycles, they are fully recovered. Another side effect is hair loss. This is because the cells responsible for hair growth divide rapidly and chemotherapy agents, which are cytotoxic agents, attack rapidly dividing cells more. Other side effects include anemia, leukopenia, thrombocytopenia. This is when the blood level are low. Here your diet is very important. And then we also do regular blood check, blood workup to see how fit they are before you can take another cycle. Change in the palm and the sole gets darker. Some affect the nails. But your oncologist will walk you through. We do some baseline investigations to see how fit you are to also determine which chemotherapy agent is safe for each individual. Chemotherapy doses are not general. It's calculated based on the patient's weight and height. Because of these anticipated side effects, we employ you to make arrangements for work, your house duties, and seek help if need be. Because for a few days after chemotherapy, you may get too tired to do most of these things. We also advocate that you also encourage you to join a support group because the entire process may be overwhelming for you. And so sharing your body with people who have gone through this same path before can help alleviate the body. They will share their survival skills with you and then you can bear it better. Another major modality of cancer treatment is radiotherapy. This is a localized treatment that uses ionizing radiation that is focused on the area of interest to kill cancer cells and to shrink the tumor as the case may be. It's usually given after surgery as an adjuvant therapy, but can be given before surgery in some instances, either to debug to downstage, to control bleeding, to control pain, but usually these are palliative indications. It's targeted to a specific area, usually the chest wall in breast cancer. It's given five days a week while the patient rests on weekends. The old treatment usually lasts two to three weeks or thereabouts in most instances of breast cancer. Shedding of radiation therapy post-surgery is best within the six weeks post-surgery. But in a case that a patient had had mastectomy due to one reason or the other, it could still be done a few months after surgery. How do we prepare patients for radiotherapy? On presentation to your radiation oncologist, we do some baseline investigations to ascertain this, the disease stage and the area of interest. Before beginning radiation therapy, you go through what is called radiation simulation. This is to mimic the treatment itself and to obtain an image that will be used to plan the treatment. This is further transferred to the treatment to the system of both the radiation oncologist and the treatment machine itself. So you'll be positioned the same way you'll be positioned for the treatment, and we need to obtain the same position on a daily basis. So as to further help this, we use immobilization devices like breast board and breast cancer to help you maintain the same position because the radiation therapist is interested in achieving the same position for effective treatment. Once this is done, at times some small dots may be put on some parts of the body to be able to help set the treatment on a daily basis. What to expect during radiation therapy? Usually after the CT simulation, you'll be asked to go for like two weeks at most for the radiation oncologist to plan the treatment, after which you'll be called back to start the treatment. When you come for the treatment, you'll be, you change to hospital gown and you'll be taken to the treatment room, which is also similar to the CT simulation room. You'll be positioned the same way you have been simulated and then you'll be left alone in the treatment room. The therapist will be monitoring your movements and the treatment itself from a screen from the control room and there will also be a microphone where you can talk to them if you have any issues about the positioning or how comfortable you are positioned. We want to assure you that it's, it's very safe and it's easy. Following the uh, positioning, a pot imaging is taken to ascertain the same position and then the treatment will be done. 
The treatment usually lasts for a few minutes, 10 minutes, thereabouts or less, and is five times a week, like I said earlier. What are the expected side effects in radiotherapy? There's fatigue, feeling of weakness, which usually lasts for a few minutes. There can be skin discoloration, skin changes, redness, in some cases darker. And at times there might be ulceration of the skin, of the affected area where the radiation therapy is directed. Other side effects could include your blood level may also be low, the white blood cell may be low. But I want to encourage you that while you're on treatment, take time to see your oncologist at least once a week. Blood checks are done, your side effects are taken and managed. Other means of treating breast cancer include hormone therapy. This is also known as endocrine therapy. The goal is to target cancer cells that have these receptors which attach to hormones like estrogen receptors, progesterone receptors. These hormones are what tumors use to fuel their growth. And when these receptors are blocked, further growth are also stopped. Hormone therapy is not for every patient with breast cancer. So before hormone therapy or targeted therapy is given, a special pathology test is done called immunohistochemistry to know who will respond to this hormone therapy. There are different hormone therapy for those that are premenopausal and those that are postmenopausal. And your oncologist will tell you the best for you. Duration for hormone therapy is usually 5 to 10 years of daily medication. Another means of treating is targeted therapy. There are also specialized agents which target specific receptors in the patient. One is human epidermal receptor, HER2 receptor. It's also used in patients that are positive to this receptor following immunohistochemistry tests. Another modality of treatment, which is a new innovation, is immunotherapy. This uses substance to stimulate or suppress the immune system to help the body fight cancer. This is also useful after a series of tests to determine who will benefit from it. Finally, remember your oncologist is going to choose the best option for you. Don't forget to ask questions and communicate how you feel every step of the way.